Do you want to buy my Galaxy 6 for $100? Uh, okay, just $100? Okay. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Yes! 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 yes. yes. Hi folks, that's from HanAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, for those of you who have been following for a while, you know a couple months ago I ordered a brand new Note 4 on eBay, and I got a fake Note 4. That was the first time I realized some of these people are making a ton of money, probably millions, by selling fake phones. Anyway, the next time you buy a phone on Craigslist, eBay, or perhaps on the street or at a store. I want you to know how to tell the real Galaxy S6 from the fake Galaxy S6. Can you see the difference? If you don't know, you may want to find out the next time you buy a Galaxy S6, uh, you don't want to be ripped off. So let me go ahead and show you how to spot a fake Galaxy S6. Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. The one on the right is the fake Galaxy S6. The one on the left is the real Galaxy S6. Uh, so the color is different off the bat. And also you'll notice that the real Galaxy S6 box has this tab. Uh, the fake one just is a box, all right? So from the box, you'll know that this is a real Galaxy S6 and this is a fake one. Also, there's actually no model number called SM-G920, so that tells it it's a fake phone. All right, opening up the box, you'll see that real Samsung Galaxy S6 box actually just has Samsung on it. All right, let me go ahead and open up both of these bad boys. And inside, you will find uh, the real Galaxy S6 and the fake Galaxy S6. Let me go ahead and put the phones aside right here. And inside you'll find a uh, adapter here. And you'll see that the real Galaxy S6 has an adapter that supports nine volts, 1.6 amps. And this one only supports five volts, all right? Um, so if it doesn't have nine volts, it's a fake Galaxy S6. All right, next actually go take a look at the earbuds here. Uh, without even opening, I can tell this is a fake. The official Galaxy S6 earbuds are rope type like this. So if it's not rope type, you'll know immediately that it's a fake Galaxy S6. And also notice that with the latest Galaxy S6 series, you'll get this type of earbud, uh, not the earbuds they used to make. All right, so that's how you can tell. Let's go to the next part. All right, so here are the phones. Now, the real Galaxy S6 is all black. If you reflect it with the light, you can see it's all black there. Uh, with the fake Galaxy S6, if you do reflect it, you'll get this sort of a slightly brownish color in the LCD when the uh, screen is powered off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and compare the right side. Let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. All right, as you can see, the real Galaxy S6 comes in three sections, uh, sort of like a middle section here, followed by the sides here. Uh, they're about equal in width, uh, but if you look at the fake Galaxy S6, you'll see that the middle is much, much bigger. All right, another thought is that uh, you can see the SIM card tray. Uh, the hole is on the bottom for the fake one uh, and is on top for the real one. Now, when you buy on eBay, make sure you have the seller send you the right side of the phone. Then you can tell right away uh, whether the Galaxy S6 they're selling is a fake one or a real one. Um, also on the left side, also the same thing. You can see it's a lot thinner with the real Galaxy S6, uh, the fake Galaxy S6, uh, a lot thicker. But the button placement are the same uh, about there. Also on top here, you'll see that the real Galaxy S6 has the IR blaster completely black. If you see any type of a uh, sort of a reddish here, that means it's a fake phone. All right, taking a look at the back of the phone, um, you'll see that the flash looks different. It looks like a little circle here uh, versus you got a little bit of a, a glass there with the little thing in there. It almost looks like a little chip there versus just a yellow circle. So beware of that. Also, the camera diameter is much, much bigger as you can see there uh, versus just a small hole there. All right, on the back of the phone, you'll see Samsung here. 
Uh, if you have a real Galaxy S6, it should say Galaxy S6 right here. You can see the fake one does not have that. As you can see from the bottom, it's very hard to tell which one is real. But if you do angle it a little bit this way, you'll see that the fake one has a slightly red insert here, which you can tell it's a fake Galaxy S6. You can see that the real Galaxy S6 has this uh, all gray thing versus slightly uh, metallic feel over here with the fake Galaxy S6. Now those precautions should be good enough to tell, but let's go ahead and turn on these bad boys and uh, see uh, what's the difference here. So I'm gonna go ahead and power on both of these. Oh, it's not powering on. There we go. And you'll see right away that the Samsung logo is different. This is from an older Note 4. Uh, you can obviously tell this is a fake Galaxy S6. All right, the real Galaxy S6 should boot up within about 10 seconds. The fake one, it's taking about, I bet I think 30 seconds or more. And when the screen is on, you can also tell that the fake screen sort of has that brownish background you can kind of see through. All right, let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. Uh, if you look right close to it, you'll be able to see the difference. All right, the real Galaxy S6 with your naked eye, you will not be able to see the pixels. Uh, but the fake Galaxy S6, you'll be able to actually see the individual pixels because I think this is only like 720p HD uh, versus a real 1440p screen there. All right, the real Galaxy S6 will actually stop at the briefing app there. All right, whereas the fake one, you can actually keep going forever and ever. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go into settings. So let me go ahead and open up settings and you'll see right away that the settings uh, looks a little bit different here. As you can see, uh, the icons are different. You can see the blue uh, is used as background, whereas the blue is used as a foreground for the icons there. All right, and go to about device or about phone uh, you'll see the model number. This one actually has a model number of SMG20F. So be aware if it says SMG20F, um, just be aware because a lot of eBayers, they'll actually put this screen, uh, make it look like a real Galaxy S6, but it's not. All right, and also it will say Android 5.0.2, but this is actually, I think, KitKat or maybe even ICS. All right, looking at status, um, you will also see if you do insert your SIM card, you'll see that uh, you'll only get Edge versus, uh, I don't have SIM card inserted here, but it'll say 4G LTE. So this phone actually doesn't even do 3G or 4G LTE. For those of you thinking about getting one, um, just don't get this. <laughs> it's a POS. All right, just looking at the screens, the screen on the fake one just looks bad. I mean, it's just horrible. And also you should be able to do double tap. If you do double tap, it's gonna go straight into the camera. Uh, if your phone doesn't do that, see double tap, nothing happens. That means it's a fake Galaxy S6. And you'll see the buttons light up. Uh, it's a little bit bluish. It should actually be a uh, white. All right, let me go ahead and switch the camera. And you can see so much lag here, it takes forever. All right, it takes like three seconds to take a photo. And let me go ahead and show you the settings here. This is completely different uh, from what you would get with the real Galaxy S6. It's instant and your settings will look like this, not like this. All right, that should be enough for you to identify a fake Galaxy S6. And you can see everything is slightly different. And let's do the final test. If you do volume down, center home, and the power button, go ahead and hold it down. You get into this Odin mode. Go ahead and hit the volume up. And this will show you uh, the actual model number. You can see it's an SMG920T. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the fake phone. All right, you'll see that I get these Chinese letters. So it's definitely a Chinese knockoff. This is the ultimate way of checking the software. If you can have access to this, uh, then you now know that you have a fake Galaxy S6. When I made a video with the Note 4 a couple months back, I actually got a lot of responses back. 
Um, some of those came from people I saved. Uh, they told me they almost bought a new Note 4. I found out it was a fake Note 4. And I actually got at least 20 responses from people uh, who got ripped off and they bought a fake Note 4 uh, from a seller on the street or some weird stores or uh, international while they're traveling. So just be aware of what you're buying. If you buy a real Galaxy S6, the screen should look awesome. You know, nothing like dithery or anything. Uh, there should be absolutely no lag on it. And of course, the biggest thing you can do, just remember if you're gonna remember one thing, that the SIM card tray hole is on top, not on the bottom. And also do remember the flash looks like this, not like this. And if you're asking me, should I get a fake Galaxy S6? This thing is completely useless. Uh, it doesn't even pick up HSPA signals. I am stuck on edge. So I highly don't recommend this, um, you know, even if you wanna just carry it for looks. Maybe if you wanna fake your drop test, maybe get one of these and you can go ahead and fake the drop test without spending six, 700 bucks. But I hope this helps you in identifying fake Galaxy S6. And if you have friends or family who tell you, ooh, I got a great deal on Galaxy S6 Max, um, you should really tell them to watch this video first. And also be aware of the prices you pay. If it's too good to be true, it's probably a fake Galaxy S6. I even have people now who buy fake phones like fake Galaxy Note 4 or S5 and they ask me how do you root this? Uh, I get these Chinese letters when I try to flash with Odin and I'm like that's a fake phone. <laughs> So don't become a victim. Just because Chinese government don't like to regulate companies that make fake stuff, doesn't mean that you have to help them get rich by buying one of these fake Galaxy S6s. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to save you uh, six, 700 bucks on your next Galaxy S6 by buying a real Galaxy S6. All right, I'm gonna go sell this at Walmart parking lot. Let's see if anyone picks it up. And thanks guys for watching this video. For those of you buying a new Galaxy S6 or a used Galaxy S6 on eBay, Craigslist, make sure you have the sender send you uh, some of the photos so you can check if it's a real Galaxy S6 also. Also, if you're buying a US carrier model, make sure you have clean ESN. There's a site where you can actually check for clean ESN. That would allow you to know whether the phone has been stolen or reported lost. These are some of the precautions you have to take. Just make sure you don't buy a fake Galaxy S6. Also, eBay is pretty safe. If you do buy from a seller, make sure the seller has a reputable rating, preferably 99% or higher. Also, make sure the seller has been around maybe 50 feedbacks. That way, even if you do buy a fake phone, they will have to return your money. So I have actually not lost money, but if you do buy these on the street or at a store that you don't trust, you may wanna be aware because there's no way to get a refund. Anyway, I got more stuff coming. I have the LG G4 that I've been playing with. I'll have an unboxing of this next Wednesday. Anyway, I've got more stuff coming over at my other channel, High on Android, for more custom ROMs for a bunch of different phones. Um, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for me, uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. And as always, I'll stay on Android. Here, I'll give you some money for acting here. 20 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>